Hello and welcome to a Manifest Wisely collective reading for the Spring Equinox. Getting it done around midnight, the witching hour. Oh, FYI, if you were paying attention to the last reading um, for the new moon, I mentioned the witching hour, which is between midnight and 3 a.m. according to Alexa. So, I was kind of right about that. Anyway, the things you learn or relearn or remember, right? So, Spirit, what do we have for a quick message for this collective? Oh, nine of Cups, fat and happy. Somebody's just, you know, a little winter weight, maybe, right? <laughs> it happens, right? It happens. Let's see here, Spirit. What else do we have for this collect? What do we want to say? What do we want to say? Ace of Swords. Whoa. Somebody has something to reveal to you, and I feel like it is quite serious. Um, and in the matter of... Not only is this person very satisfied with themselves, but they don't have their hands out. So it's not like, you know, they're in need for anything, right? So if somebody is coming towards you, I don't know why I just heard Sagittarius, but anyway, <clears throat> this is a collective reading. Whatever comes out, comes out. Um, I feel like nine might be representative there. Um, the nine planets, well... Anyway, um, who wants to speak on this? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Is there a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius wishing to speak to you? Collective. But are you, are you having it? <laughs> I think is kind of the, the impression I'm kind of getting from this card. Um, but you also have your own truth, right? So, <clears throat> you know, and, and here's the thing. Oh God, what? I heard the Sagittarius again. So here's the thing. So you see how they're holding on to the sword, but like this, where would you normally want to hold on to a sword? At the handle, not on the blade, right? So... What is that song by Lizzo? Truth Hurts. <laughs> Something like that. Um, you know, so I feel like, you know, like there's two sides to every story, right? There's the, the double-edged sword. So somebody might be coming to tell you the truth, but it might not be like something that you really want to hear is kind of what I'm getting out of this. Um, and it might be the kind of thing where it's like, look, I know the truth of myself and where I'm going. And even though I've had to hold on myself, right, to this type of sore before where it's cut me, right? And then I found out what happens, right? And now I'm standing in my power and in my truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Oh my god. This well, wow. it's like just moved the Okay, that was a little freaky. <laughs> I just jumped, you guys. That is like it almost sounded like there was like you know, something like an animal or something, but it's like it's on my little bookshelf. <laughs> it just has like some cookbooks on it. So anyway, uh Spirit, what else do we have for this collective? So, <clears throat> what do we know here now? Come on up. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like, I feel like this is like a dying situation. This Five of Pentacles, that's at least how it feels. Um, moving forward, like, it's something that you might have to, like, Oh, 444 on the clock. Okay. It's something you might have to mourn to let go. Um, how you do that is, you know, maybe once you find out this truth, that'll be easier. Um, you know, 
what I mean? We'll find out, see how far I can get in this reading without running out of room on the, um, now see, that was me there, but like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and watch this, like, that's, that was just too much, it's, and it's, yeah, wow, I was just gonna say, the energy has, is getting heavy, ten of wands, yes, <coughs> see, that's the outcome of this for you, where you're like, oh my god, there's this, okay, this song has been coming up, I was driving on Friday, and, um, the song name is Action, and I think the band is called Sweetness, and it's like a 70s like power pop or something, maybe British, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, and it's like, everybody wants a piece of the action, right? And, and everybody wants a piece of you here, right? And it's like, and you're realizing what it's costing you, okay? So that's where this heaviness has been coming in, okay? But you have, you, you're going to find something out here, Spirit says, that's going to make this easier to kind of, I don't want to say shelter in place, but it might be something like that where there's tower, you know, I want to say the T word, but towers <laughs> happening outside, you know, and around you, okay? Um... <clears throat> but sometimes that's part of a natural event, okay? And so it's important for you to recognize um, and still not like, you know, be clenching to or, you know, clinging to, but um, kind of being okay with experiencing something that's a little bit more, dare I say, humbling. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sometimes that happens in life, right? Okay. Um, and there's no, there's no need to feel shame about it because see, this is, this is where you started out as with the nine of cups being like, Hey, I'm feeling pretty good about my life, you know? And sometimes things come along, right? And that upsets the apple cart and then it might take a while to get, adjusted and that I think is what this five of pentacles is about it's kind of about more like regaining your balance maybe you had a ten of pentacles with somebody and now it's like split right down in half right and it's like oh my god how am I going to do this with just my five of pentacles right you know so maybe for some of you you've gone through like a divorce like this is a judicial thing you know I mean and now it's like oh well yeah now it's all on me right well, yeah, now you're like, well, how did I, you know, and now you're like, you know, every step you take up the mountain right, or along this path, it gets a little bit heavier and you're like, okay, where am I going with this? Right. But this is fire. This is representative of fire too. So like, you know, you are able to take this right at the end of these cycles and transform it into something. Okay. You know, and recognize maybe what's weighing you down. And then, you know, that transformation, you know, if you burn these sticks, they're going to just turn to ash, right? Like, I literally have my incense going right here. I'm going to bring it down so you can see you guys. Like, <laughs> okay, like, I transform that into ash, and then that weighs like nothing. And then it just is going to float away, right? And, and what is that song? And then back a one. Like a dream come true, to da, da, da. right, and then you're still who you are, right? You and <clears throat> in relation to others, this you know is representative of wish fulfillment. Okay, um, someone might see you as their wish fulfillment as well. All right, so don't forget about that because you know you do have like the five of pentacles here, which I was reading kind of as the 10, um, split in half. And actually that came, the 10 came out in my last reading, which was, um, for the new moon that is happening like right now. So if you have not watched that in those new moon readings, um, and this is resonating with you, you might want to go check that out. All right. Okay. Let's do a little bit of an extended here on this. 
this spirit thank you i don't know if i'll cut this video in half though i'll just upload the whole thing i just want to make sure you can kind of see see some stuff yeah oh. <laughs> let's go yes artists and what else is under here Right, because yeah, you found what's like making you happy. Like you have this independent spirit. I don't know why I want to say Pisces. Um, page of Wands, yes. And you know you're communicating. You're out there communicating. Um, <clears throat> so this message is coming in. There's gonna be some some truth revealed. Ooh, and I just got like this feeling in my stomach. So. Um, you might be like quite nervous about it, um, but you know the truth is there to set you free, right? There's that that saying exists for a reason. So you know once you do learn the truth of a situation, then you know you you are free to act in a truth, and um, you you've been gifted in a way, right? You've been gifted new opportunities that were not visible to you before. So, like, when people talk about, you know, the moon card and, like, illusion and things like that, right? So, with this with this new moon, you know, you can set new intentions of saying to myself, like, hey, I'm ready for the truth in my life, right? I'm, re I'm ready to have victory, okay? Because I'm creating these opportunities by recognizing what, what is real, okay? All right. Baby, sometimes that message just comes out, 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 you know. <laughs> My contact information is at the top in the description, FYI, if you are looking to book a private reading via this YouTube channel. And uh, I am on some other social medias as well. Let's see here, Spirit. What do we have? We have on the Ace of Swords for this collective to clarify, please. Truth, victory, honor, it's all good stuff. And okay. <clears throat> I feel like for somebody this might be like karmic justice, okay? And the reason why I say that is because you got the temperance card, which means be patient, okay? So somebody might be like, well, hey, here's the truth. Like maybe like, you know, maybe, okay, for somebody that was like went through a divorce and maybe you were like awarded a certain amount of money or awarded like the car or something. Like, I don't know. You know, like there's something kind of that for it to be fully equal hasn't necessarily come to you yet. So Spirit is saying here, you know, have some patience in the situation again this sword is so strong okay it's not um you know it, it's like like i said you know you even you it's so strong and so powerful even somebody will grasp at it and cut themselves okay because they you know it's like it's like taking that emotional pain and transforming it into a physical pain right um, and you know, people like beat themselves up over situations and stuff. And here's a good like note, like, you know, mentality wise, like your body, like the way you talk to yourself, you know, that's your body will react in such a way. So, um, if you are more patient with yourself, you're going to find yourself being more relaxed. Okay. So, you know, um, if your day doesn't go according to plan, you know, you could say, well, Hey, we'll try again tomorrow. Right? And, you know, sleep on it and we'll be fine. Like, the world did not end. Okay? Okay. And again, 14 is a doorway. Um, so, you know what? This is also Sagittarius. And remember, I was saying Sagittarius at the beginning of this reading. So, apparently, Sagittarius wanted to come out. So, maybe some of y'all's got some fire. Some fire in your chart like I do. All right. What else, Spirit? I do recommend checking out your <laughs> look and there's the moon new moon hey. new moon on the spring equinox you know that's when 
you know, your day and nights equal. So again, so you had that 10 of pentacles and it was split, right? So it's, and it's almost like you're seeing it from the inside, right? Imagine if these were like columns, you know, up and then like it gets cut in half, you know, kind of like how when you cut an apple and then you see you can, it makes a star inside. Okay. So, um, connecting with some of the mysticism of the universe, I feel like is going to come to you through this truth. So again, the nature thing. All right. Like I just said, the apple, the apple of truth, like, gosh, can I get a bigger metaphor than that? Right. Um, maybe you've been to the big apple. Have you? I have. It was fun. <laughs> Spirit, what? We have maybe somebody's going to New York. I don't know. Check out Broadway. So, you know what? I was just on the street Broadway um, today, N not in New York, but um, I was literally driving on a road named Broadway. So, apparently, that message was supposed to come out. I was, I was driving um, I Uber on the side and um, <laughs> I had to take a woman uh, to the hospital, and um, we were on the road Broadway. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, it's strange because you know what? She actually, she was going to get checked for a concussion. And look, this, this figure here has like a head bandage on. That's like it literally exactly what she needed. She said she fell and like hit her, her she was wearing her eyeglasses, you know? Um, and it made like a, um, you know, a gash over her eyebrow. And, you know, kind of gave her like a shiner look like somebody punched her in the eyeball, you know. <laughs> so she said she, she said she sent pictures to her doctor using her cell phone. Isn't that amazing? Through the app. And they told her to get to the emergency department now. So, you know, I wasn't sure what I was going to pick her up for. And then, um, you know. <laughs> but I'm glad I did that she got her right. All right, five of cups. So yeah, so for a lot of you, you know, once this five of pentacles kind of equalizes out and you see what's going to happen, um, you're going to be feeling disappointed. And this five of cups has been a running theme in a lot of my reads, even through this year. Now, another reader I was watching was like, well, you know, this is kind of, you know, the start of Aries season, blah, blah, you know, it's like the unofficial start of the Zodiac. I mean, I feel like Zodiac starts with Aquarius per the calendar year, you know, because Aquarius is the first sign that's fully within the calendar year. But I mean, if you're calculating, calculating by, um, different astrology systems, I mean, over time that could potentially... Um, nine of pentacles wanting to pop out. See, it's like you're, you're, you're content. Whatever this is, it's like, it's, it's okay. It's like, an, it's just like part of the natural process. It's like nothing. Oh my God. What was I saying earlier? You're going to have to take shelter from these towers, right? Okay, cause we're, okay, so imagine you have this big tower here, and then you're like, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to live upstairs, and you're going to live downstairs, right? And me and so-and-so are going to be over here rocking it, <laughs> and, you know? And then this person's like, well, wait a second. I thought I had this whole tower, and then you're like, well, not exactly, and they're like, yeah, wait, right? Um... Too bad, so sad. Um, part of the natural grieving mourning process, right? Everybody goes through breakups, heartaches, blah, blah, blah. It happens, right? Um, <clears throat> but, you know, not all is lost here. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles often gives me similar to like seven of Pentacles energy. Like, you know, it's just we're there. You know, it's not the best result, but you know, I'd rather have five Pentacles than no Pentacles at all. 
right? And this Knight of Cups wanted to come out earlier. Ten of Wands. Somebody wants to help you lift that, lift that burden. Okay, so if you feel like you're doing something and not getting any results, and I was seriously channeling like some um, Russian gulag energy <laughs> earlier. Um, I don't know. I well, I have Russian heritage, so that's like part of Russian people's history. Um, and I feel like for some of you, you know, this is how you feel. Like, why am I doing this? <laughs> right? That is the type of heaviness. Okay. And, and remember, you have the power. Okay, right? Snap. Yes. So peace. Stay off my back or I will attack. And you don't want that, right? You're, t you're done feeling this way. And I feel like uh, potentially Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, maybe this is in your Venus placement. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like for whoever this is, you have somebody kind of coming towards you to make you some kind of, um, I hate saying the word offer, but they, they're offering to share like space with you. Let's just say it kind of like that way. Right. Um, cause like, you know, even when you're hanging out with your friends, like, are you like right up in their face? Like, you know what I mean? Like, are you cozy, cozy snuggling with your, with your friends? Like, or you got like some space between you on the couch. Okay. So, you know, this is more the kind of, <laughs> that's like, you know, wink, wink and nod, nod. Right. Okay. Uh, Spirit, what do we have to close out on this Ten of Wands, please? For the collective Five of Wands. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, competition, a foot. Um, Spirit's saying that this is going to be coming from multiple directions for somebody. So buckle up, right? Uh, yeah, it's like you thought the well went dry. Well, the well is plentiful here with the wheel of fortune. Um, you know, you could be having some business deals. You might want to run away from it all. You know, you're like, I've been effed over before, but you know, you have what you need inside of you already with this nine of cups. And <clears throat> I feel like it's just a matter of time. Okay, it's like a matter of time till the right one comes through, right? The one that's not causing chaos, okay? Somebody a little bit more secure in themselves. Is that what this armor is representing here? Some more of a secure, emotionally mature partnership, okay? Manifest 